Good morning. This is Mr. Eshelman. Today is Thursday, May 28th, 2020, and we're our third day into at-home learning this week with one day to go tomorrow, and then we have some fun things to do on Monday and Tuesday, some end-of-year uh, end assemblies and our goose chase activity to replace fun day, so we have some fun things coming up. And then it's summer vacation, so we have a couple more days to finish strong, get your work done, put forth your best effort, and then we'll have some fun leading into summer vacation. We have three birthdays today. We have Emily in first grade celebrating a birthday, Lillian, a fourth grader celebrating birthday today, and Jackson also in fourth grade celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday to all of them. And we'll wrap up our July birthdays to celebrate our summer birthdays that we won't be at school for. So back to, or up to July 11th now, Colin celebrates his birthday on the 11th. Elijah and Briley on the 12th. Ariah, Landon, and Mason celebrate birthdays on July 13th. Mason on the 14th. There are no Denver Elementary birthdays on July 15th. Natalie, Jalen, Carter, and Eric all celebrate birthdays on July 16th. On the July 17th, Abigail O, Shane, and Sean celebrate birthdays. On the 18th, Addison and Mrs. Brunick have birthdays. On July 19th, Tabitha, William, and Benjamin celebrate birthdays. There are no Denver Elementary birthdays on the 20th. Carson's birthday is on the 21st. Michael's is on the 22nd. Ashby and Jasper's are on the 23rd. Jaden's birthday is on July 24th. On July 25th is Jackson and Adeline. Abigail and Elizabeth celebrate birthdays on the 26th. Cole, Braylon, and Mrs. Cirillo have birthdays on July 27th. There are no birthdays on July 28th. Caitlin's birthday is on July 29th. Gregorio and Marcus celebrate birthdays on July 30th. And to wrap up the month of July, Caden and Asher celebrate birthdays. So happy birthday to all of those July birthdays. Tomorrow will be the last day for morning announcements. So make sure that you listen for the August birthdays. Now it's only the first couple of weeks of August because August is actually the month that we head back to school towards the end of the month. And here are some reminders that I had posted yesterday. Everybody should have received these documents digitally either on email or through Seesaw or Schoology posts. We have iPad collection. We have uh, end of year drop off and pick up collection things for supplies at Denver Elementary School. And the directions for how to download the Goose Chase app to participate in that fun event next Tuesday on June 2nd. If you haven't seen those things, let us know and we'll get those out to you so you have accurate information to wrap up the year. And then our questions of the day, two more math questions. The K1 and 2 question says, Max practiced soccer in his yard for 30 minutes every day last week. He spent 10 of those minutes each day taking shots at his goal. How many total minutes did he spend taking shots last week? So he practiced for 30 minutes, but he only practiced taking shots part of that time. And then the third, fourth, and fifth grade question, in last week's soccer games, Max played 32 minutes on Monday, 27 minutes on Thursday, and 39 minutes on Saturday. On average, how many minutes did he play in each game last week? And then two jokes today submitted by students. Abigail's joke says, what did the beach say to the tide when it came in? Long time, no sea. And then Ryland's joke is, knock, knock. Who's there? A, B. A, B, who? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So thanks, kids, for submitting those jokes. You don't have to submit any more because tomorrow's the last day for announcements, although you can always share jokes with me. I like to hear them, and I'll be able to save them. They just won't be on announcements after uh, our next. We only have one day left, so we have jokes that we can put on there already. So feel free to keep looking for those. And when we get back to Denver Elementary School or however we do announcements in the fall, we can try to get those jokes on there every once in a while too. So let's stand up and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America 
and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So as we come towards the end of the week of at-home learning, keep going, almost there. Finish your last few assignments and put forth your best effort. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.